Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about family councils, why they're important. A lot of you may have not heard of family councils, but family councils are times that you gather together your family and you counsel together, but more importantly, the ones that we had, it was a time of organization. Uh, kids need structure, they need organization in their, house, in the, their home, they also need protection, and these family councils will provide that. Let me tell you an interesting story. In the wild, there's something called musk oxen, and they have big, long horns, and like every parent, they're very concerned about their children as well. So when they sense danger, what they do, the musk oxen, they go together, they, they travel in herds. So what they'll do is they'll form a circle around their children. Their children are in the middle. They're forming the circle where their heads and their horns are butted out. So all these horns are all the way around the circle protecting their children. And that's pretty much like us as parents. We want to protect our children. So let me explain to you how um, family councils, weekly family councils, can help with organization, structure, and also protecting your children. Okay, how you can, um, I'll tell you how we organized it in January. Uh, we gathered the family around and we always had the same exact time every week, same day, same time that we met. So the kids knew that there was, that was the time that we were stru structuring family council. Everyone in the family had a calendar. <clears throat> and so then we went around to every single person in the family, including the parents, and said, okay, what is going on with your week this week? Where do you have to be? At what time do you have to be? At? We're putting all of this on the calendar. And we did, and everybody in the family put what everybody's schedule was so that everyone knew where everyone was going to be throughout the week. Okay, so from that, then we asked different questions. One of the big questions is, one thing I wanted to do is to make certain, particularly when our kids got to be teens, that we had at least one meal that we all ate together as a family. And it was usually dinner, surprisingly, because in the morning they were all going to different schools and different things going on. Mornings were too busy to have everybody at the same time for breakfast and lunch was a joke, so no one was home then. So dinner was the time. So we mapped out each day, okay, when is everybody going to be home on time so that we can have dinner? And I would mark that in. All right, then we also talked about <clears throat> the practical part is um, giving the calendar, knowing where everyone is. We also talked about rides. Who needs a ride to what? When do you have to be at that particular time? We mapped all that out. We mapped out practicing time too, because they all played the piano. There was four of them, so we only had one piano. So we had to, to map out, okay, who's gonna be practicing at what time? Are you gonna practice in the morning? Are you gonna practice in the evening? When are you going to practice? And that went on the calendar. Later on, we also talked about if we were taking vacations, you know, where were we going to take the vacation? We would mark that on the calendar. If we were saying, saving up for a more um, expensive vacation, then we mark that into the calendar in different ways as well. Okay, we talked a lot about school, if they were having tests that were coming up, if they had any reports or any papers or any, anything that was coming up, that also went on to the calendar so that we would know that. Now, another thing is that we put date nights. The very first um, family council of the month, we did date nights as, as parents with each one of our children. We took them individually out on date nights. So that would also go on the calendar so every child knew the date, the time, the place, everything on, on what we were doing for date nights at that particular time. We also used this time as to talk about our pets. We had uh, dogs, cats, birds, fish. I felt like sometimes we lived in a zoo. But we talked about, okay, who's going to walk the dog? Who's going to change the kitty litter? Who's going to make certain they took, it was uh, rotating, you know, who's going to feed them, who's going to change their water, all of those things. And that went on the calendar. Now, what did we notice from this? There was a lot of organization. There was a lot of structure that added to our lives. There was the protection because we knew where everybody was in the family throughout every single day during the week. It really helped our kids, it helped us as parents. It was a wonderful way to add structure and meaning to our lives. And it helped with communication problems. The kids were free to bring up any topics that they wanted, things that we needed to know as a family. So it proved to be a wonderful, wonderful thing. So let me leave you with this quote. It's by Michael J. Fox. Family is not an important thing. Family is everything. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.